Hey, one of the main questions, or I would say the top 10 questions I get when it comes to real estate wholesaling is, is this illegal? Now, the simple answer is no, it is not illegal. However, if you don't structure your deals the right way, if you don't put together the right paperwork and agreements, yes, you can violate certain state licensing laws. And so obviously we want to make sure that you're doing this the right way and one of the best ways to make sure that you are doing this legally and above board, you're doing ethical business, is by making sure that you are a principal in every single transaction that you do. You can't go out there marketing people's houses without having an agreement in place. And so by having a purchase agreement executed, fully executed with, with yourself and the homeowner, makes you a principal in the transaction, it gives you the legal right and authority, it gives you equitable rights and interests in that property. So you, you can do whatever you want with that deal. You can market that deal to find a buyer if you want to, or you can buy the house yourself. But you must be a principal in the transaction. That's what makes this legal and ethical. If you market that deal without a contract, without an agreement, you could be accused of brokering real estate or practicing real estate without a license. That's not what you want, all right? So to make sure that this is legal and above board, you have to make sure that you are a principal in the transaction. Write this down as well, make note of this. You can only market what you own and what you control. I'll say that again. You can only market what you own and what you control. And as a wholesaler, primarily most times, 90% of the times, we are marketing our agreements. We're not even buying or selling houses here. We're flipping pieces of paper. Some wholesalers like myself, sometimes we do buy the asset, we do close on it first, and then we wholesale it later on. But for the most part, most wholesalers are assigning contracts. And so if you are assigning a contract, you can only market what you own and what you control, that is for compliance sake. And so when you're marketing your deals, you're only marketing, you're being very clear that you're only marketing your agreement, your assignment contract. You have to be very clear about the role that you play in the transaction. So if you want to learn more about compliance and the things you can and cannot do as a real estate wholesaler, I want to invite you to enroll in my courses and classes. Check out some of my other videos. I talk more in depth about these different topics on my YouTube channel, on my social media accounts, and in my courses and classes as well. Hey, Don Cross here. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Be sure to drop a like and comment if you enjoyed it. And by the way, I have so much more amazing, sexy content coming up on real estate investing, entrepreneurship, and so much more. So be sure to subscribe, hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss another video or upload. And by the way, follow me on Instagram as well. It's Dolmar Cross on Instagram so you don't wanna miss any of my content there either. And finally, check out automatedinvestor.com if you wanna learn more about real estate investing, how you can get started with no money, no credit, no real estate license, so you can also change your life and make a lot of money in the process, all right? Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.